everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Pocket Rocket Garage and today I've got something completely different for you. Today I'm here to look at Kevin's 1978 mini pickup 1275 Turbo. Looking at Kevin's Mini, it looks really standard from the outside. So we've got 10 inch, um, rose, petals. 10 inch rose petals on it. We've got Yokoma tyres, yep. nice and grippy on these roads. We've got, um, what sort of size brakes have you got? So they're the Mini Sports 7.9 drilled and vented discs, four pots. Four pot brakes on it. So the Mini's running a full stainless steel exhaust um, made by? Uh, it's a Play Mini. Play Mini exhaust. Now they were really popular when I used to have my first Mini. Um, but they are really nice pieces of equipment, lovely sound to them. Now the 1978 Mini, originally it would have come with a... Well, it would have been either an 850 or a 998 okay. uh, for the vans and commercials. Yeah, so it's a, a much smaller engine than what he's got under there right now. Now this is the best bit, and this is what you want to see. So this is a 1275 Metro Turbo engine. Now, is the uh, is the block standard? Uh, so it's got standard pistons, um, but we've highly modified the head uh, to lower the compression. Uh, straight cut drop gearbox as well. Kevin's just opened up the bonnet. Let's have a look at this engine. Now it's a Metro Turbo engine, but it's been highly modified. It's got a VMAX modified head. It's using a Garrett GT17 Turbo and it's running a Polestar programmable ECU. Now if you look to the side of the engine, it's actually got a side mounted manifold and that's been made by Fusion Fabrications. This allows the turbo to sit around the side of the engine, but it actually leaves the bulkhead completely standard without any need for cutting or modifying. Now Kevin tells me it's using an RTS performance clutch and it's had a fully rebuilt gearbox with straight cut drop gears and these were done by Alex at the car kitchen. Now it's using a smaller alternator that's been relocated at the bottom of the engine but at the front by the grille. Now that's to make room for the huge custom intercooler again made by Alex at the car kitchen. He's also made a custom oil catch can and whilst the whole car was at the car kitchen Alex has given it a full rolling road setup and it's produced about 145 brake horsepower. So we're gonna go out in the car now and I'm gonna to get to see what it's like.
I've just got back to the garage and all I can say is what a great morning. A big thank you to Kevin for showing me and taking me out in his classic mini pickup 1275 turbo. Wow. If you'd like to see any more videos like this, give the video a like and put a comment down below and let me know. It's given me the incentive to get going on my Mini even more. I want to get it done as quick as I can. I want to get it out on the road because once you've gone back out in a Mini, it gives you a massive smile and you just realise how much fun they are. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you've all enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.